Flooding is the most common and costly natural disaster, causing millions of dollars of damages each year in the U.S. Between 1980 and 2013, flooding caused $260 billion in damage. Flooding has occurred in every state. In 2016 alone, 36 of 46 presidentially declared disasters involved floods or hurricanes, including four inland flooding events, each exceeding $1 billion in losses. Whether your community is located on the coast or further inland, it's not a matter of if flooding will happen, but when it will happen. It's hard to stop a flood, but through sound floodplain management, communities can reduce losses, protect valuable economic and natural resources, and more importantly, save lives. Through floodplain management, you and your community can take actions to reduce the physical and financial impacts of future flooding. These actions include encouraging higher building standards, protecting open space, and promoting flood insurance. Many communities adopt and enforce even higher standards, which reduces damage from future floods and allows for quicker recovery. Communities that join the National Flood Insurance Program, or NFIP, agree to adopt and enforce floodplain management regulations. In return, they have access to federally backed flood insurance and flood-related disaster assistance and grants. So what happens to a community that doesn't practice floodplain management? Let's take a look. Floodville and Oakdale are neighboring towns. They each experienced heavy rainfall resulting in extensive flooding. Floodville did not join the NFIP and did not adopt the required minimum standards to reduce their community's flood risk. Due to the lack of floodplain management requirements, Floodville's recovery costs were 40% more than Oakdale's costs, not to mention the financial impact on Floodville and its businesses as it took so much longer to recover. Floodville's water treatment plant was damaged, while Oakdale's plant, built on higher ground, was up and running the day after floodwaters receded. In addition, it was more difficult for Floodville's emergency services to respond, which put more lives at risk. Over the past 50 years, the NFIP has learned that buildings constructed after communities enforcing floodplain management regulations sustained about 80% less damage than those built before. Research shows that for every dollar spent on mitigation, about $6 are saved in future avoided losses. In short, communities like Oakdale are more resilient and recover more quickly. They save money, reduce further damage, get families back in their homes sooner, and lessen business and education interruption in their communities by practicing sound floodplain management. Here are a few simple steps to get started on floodplain management in your community. One, know your flood risks. Are there homes or businesses that get flooded over and over? Levees built before there were Chevys? Aging infrastructure? Once you know your risks, you can begin to address them. Two, join the NFIP. Not yet participating? Joining the NFIP means your residents and business owners can get federally backed flood insurance. Your community becomes eligible for federal grants to help you reduce your community's flood risk when you adopt and enforce floodplain management regulations. And when that flood does hit, you and your citizens would be eligible for disaster assistance. Three, build higher and safer. Already an NFIP participating community? Great, be sure to maintain the standards and continue to adopt higher standards and mitigation strategies. The NFIP standards are minimum standards. Making building requirements higher than NFIP standards can result in lower flood risk and lower flood insurance costs as well. Four, plan for future conditions and development. Conditions are changing on the coast and inland. Whether it is weather patterns, population growth, or other factors, what your community is like today may be different than what it will be like in 10 to 20 years. Start planning for that change now. And lastly, join the NFIP's Community Rating System Program, CRS. Communities that go beyond the NFIP minimum standards can receive recognition from the CRS program, which translates into discounts of up to 45% for policyholders. More than 70% of NFIP policyholders today are in CRS communities, receiving approximately $355 million in discounts. This may seem like a lot of work, but even the smallest change makes a big difference. You don't have to do it all, and it doesn't have to be done all at once. Remember, 
Every dollar spent on mitigation is an investment to avoid future losses and saves money. More importantly, sound floodplain management can make a difference in people's lives today and in the future.